what's up guys as you can see i'm running corga 6.0 and this update just dropped a day or so ago and spoiler alert it is amazing Alright so guys before we start please make sure to subscribe and like this video because uh, pixel experience update is about to drop very very soon and I'm going to make a video on it as soon as it drops so stay tuned if you want to know uh, when it drops and how it is and just overall but anyway uh, once you subscribe let's get right in so uh, let's go through the basics first uh, it comes with the latest security patch June 5 and it comes with perf kernel you can change the kernel for whatever reason if you want to if you don't like it you can use this talk for a few days and then if you don't like it you could try immensity and then f when x y and then other than that the se linux status is enforcing so that is basically like like norm would like a normal official rom from like an oem rom would be enforcing so that is one of the biggest things about this rom and with that out of the way, why I wouldn't make a video about this ROM previously was because it was OSS based. And as we know, it's not stable yet, and there are, and that OSS vendor brings with it quite some bugs. And now it's back to MIUI vendor, and that means it is just amazing. Like it is really smooth, and like ANX obviously works. So let me quickly open ANX, uh, and it works totally. So here we go. It's working. But anyway, uh, like even everything, like slow motion and everything, all of it, all of it is working. But other than that, uh, if we go back into, let's close all the apps. If we go into settings, uh, let me go that real quick. These are the uh, customizations. So firstly, let me talk talk through themes. And so once you open it, it is like separately than the rest because it shows you live changes as you make them here. So if I, for example, change the uh, shape to hexagon it, it's going to show me so yeah that is a great little addition in corvius rom this was here obviously previously too but here are the other options if you want to go through them now anyway let's go through the customizations and it is neatly tucked under the like the other options are tucked neatly so let's start here and these are all the options and they're basically same like other customizations are similar to basically other ASP ROMs. And let me tell you that the rounded corners are actually, they're not totally rounded. They are a bit jagged. So that's also one thing that I don't like about it. And by the way, the biggest thing that I don't really like about it is, uh, is the haptics. They're not really that great, but I talked to, about, talked to the dev about this and he said he'll improve them in the next update. So that's uh, one a good thing. But anyway, these are all the customizations here. So if you want to go through them, you can pause the video. And in miscellaneous, these are the options. And yeah. Now if we go to lock screen, it does come with a bunch of animations. Right now I'm using Ripple because I like it. And you can choose anyone obviously. And if we scroll down here are the other options now if we go into uh, fingerprint preferences this is just basic stuff uh, anyway if we go into here there are much more option, options and status bar so you can turn on change the battery uh, icon and stuff like that and carrier label and stuff like that and the clock options in your status bar and if we go into icon manager you can actually disable each and every icon if you want to now if we go into quick settings there are also a bunch of options you can toggle uh, like you can change the layout and stuff like that and now if we go back to traffic indicators and you can enable it and it does indeed work so in ticker this is like a different wait once you enable it it does just uh, do a system UI reboot and uh, so in ticker it's basically instead of heads up when the notification comes down it's ticker it just comes in the status bar you can use it if the heads up bothers you but anyway in uh, buttons there are a bunch more options here too if you want to go through them now what I want to talk about mostly is that this ROM is why I really like it is 
basically in terms of smoothness it just looks so smooth and it just feels so good and the fingerprint is also really really good in my opinion it's on par with the, say extended ui but that rom is oss based so there are a bunch of bugs because of that vendor and if you're wondering yes dc dimming does work so let me show that to you indeed right now so if you turn that on yes it is working now if you're wondering how i got this uh, big like pill i'll leave the links down in the description or you can contact me on my telegram group and also if you're wondering about my case that's also going to be linked down in the description now other than that in terms of bugs i couldn't find any other than a vo wi-fi which i wasn't able to get working i have actually toggled it here and so it is on and then i did report a couple of times so it's not working for me but for others it did work so let me uh, actually call say 198 it doesn't say it's wi-fi calling so what it would do is show here wi-fi calling and now it's not showing wi-fi calling so yeah it's not working for me but yeah you can try it it might work for you now guys in terms of battery life i don't have exact stats and all like the idle drain is actually pretty low but let me tell you like from the past one day i've been using it the battery life is really actually really good so you shouldn't be worrying about that obviously and now there's one thing that is actually missing so there is no raise to wake in this on this or in this rom so if you go to lock screen display there is no raise to wake but there is a pickup this one is pickup to ambient display and this does not properly work there's a lot of delay in it so yeah there is one thing you need to keep in mind before installing this rom now in terms of performance it's basically like every other uh, rom like for example say miui roms and other roms like evolution x but smoothness is just really good so like gaming wise you shouldn't have any problems you can install this rom right away and if you don't like the performance you can switch to fnxy kernel or immensity kernel now guys before i leave i want to do a quick super fast app opening test so let's open a bunch of apps and then open them from recents real quick and i'm not obviously not noticing any frame drops it's like in evolution x if you use that rom there are sometimes frame drops and that's what i actually don't like about that rom but other than that that rom is stable af so you don't really need to worry about that but yeah now i'm opening all the apps really quickly i'm not noticing any frame drops so yeah you're good with this rom in terms of that but uh, other than that that is basically about it uh, if you want me to talk about any specific things on rom videos do let me know in the description and if you're wondering how i got this icon pack i might make a video on this depending on how many likes i get on this video let's say if we get um say 20 likes in above i'll make a video on this setup but anyway that is basically about it please make sure to subscribe and do like this video if you liked it and if you didn't there's the other button but anyway this was alhamid from mr tech boss signing off